Do you remember a strange and disturbing website entitled 4 Meals of the Day.net? You probably haven't. This mysterious website used to exist and even used to have a creepypasta written about it. But somehow and for some reason, the website along with the creepypasta were being deleted. Like it just dissipated and vanished away from the cyberspace. However, if you look hard enough, you'll eventually come across the creepypasta story. It has been posted on Facebook by the username of Undead Fapper, and a few narrations and videos have also been posted on YouTube. Due to the length limitation of this video, I won't be reading the whole story, so it will be linked in the description below. Basically, a man on the IMDb site was searching for disturbing videos or movies, until an anonymous account sent him the link to 4 meals of the day.net. Upon visiting the website, the author notices that it is divided in four main pages Home, About Us, Download Content, and Feed the Monster. The About Us page takes you to a bizarre paragraph that reads 4 Meals of the Day.net is meant to expose the troubles and give an answer to them as they continue in an endless series of videos leading to the 4 Meals of the Day. We have declared war on the blissfulness. An unfortunate irony. The download content page included links to videos in the QuickTime and the Windows Media Video format. There were a total of 26 videos on the page, most of which were uploaded in 2006. The majority of the videos were either people watching cartoons or people talking about random things as they walk around a wilderness trail. According to the author, the comment sections were riddled with hate comments and death threats to the creators of the website. One video that stood out on the Donald content page was a video entitled Amy, age 20. The video was 15 minutes long and it displayed a girl in a room with an open door in the background. The first 10 minutes were her singing in a karaoke machine. Then the screen cuts to red and cuts back. We see the same girl but now she's crying occasionally saying things like, please dad, and why did you take her? The last second of the video suddenly cuts off and the door in the background opens slightly. The Feed the Monster page was like the download content page, but with only four videos. Each were named after the four meals of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. The videos start out with title cards like Tavita, age 16. Mariah, age 28, Dana, age 17. To sum it all up for these videos, they basically depict torture and rape to these young girls. What the other writes down is very graphic, so again, if you want to read the whole story, it's on the Facebook link in the description below. Some of the characters are mentioned multiple times throughout the videos. A fat, shirtless man wearing a pair of bunny ears. Another guy dressed in a red hoodie and red sweatpants. A French girl and a man wearing a pig mask. Also, another thing I want to point out is that the people in the video claim that they aren't killing innocent people. They say that they are wiping away the scum of the earth and having fun doing it. Around two weeks after bringing it up on different forum sites, the website shut down and got deleted. He also says if you look hard enough, you can still find videos and images from the website, but barely any of them are from the videos he mentioned. 
only a few reaction videos were made and rumors say that the creators of the website made a new one under a different name. It has also been claimed that the videos were fake and made as a joke by the filmmaker Pablo Macho Mason it forth. However, there's no proof of this. What I like about the story is that it adds a bit of realism at the end, saying that the videos you would find from the side aren't the ones he mentioned. In formulasoftheday.net, the author says that the website is down, which it is, and you wouldn't be able to find the videos mentioned, which makes it hard to explain if Formulas of the Day is real or fake. There are only four videos you can find to this day that were allegedly on site before it got deleted. They are entitled Hall, Jasmine and Brianna, ages 12 and 14, Too Dark to Work, and Update 5910. All of these videos were posted by Mr. AVGN Fan 12 and Creepypasta Archives. And, like the other said, none of these are any of the actual four videos mentioned. Hall is 47 seconds long, and the first 38 seconds is just a camera pointed to a screen with the Toon Time cartoon playing. Remember how the author said that most of the videos on the download content page were just people watching cartoons? Well, this video must have proved another point for the authenticity of the story. The last part of the video is a guy walking in a backyard, stops at a dog hole, and throws a hammer in the hole. Jasmine and Brianna, age 12 and 14, has the same title format, which is the name of the girls and the ages, so if you haven't figured out already, you should be noticing a pattern here, that the website seems to be targeting young girls. The first third of the video is just another guy watching another cartoon. It's Looney Tunes this time, watching the episode Porky's Cafe. Then it cuts off to two girls, assumably Jasmine and Brianna, sitting in the middle of a forest. Also, they seem to be wearing bathing suits and appear wet. They're talking to a cameraman while eating pop rocks. Well, as you can see, they are... <laughs> ah. Excuse me. It appears your friend, Cinema Silent, Cinematic Silence, won't be here for the remainder of the video. And it uh, looks like I'll be have to... I'm gonna have to take over. Uh, my name is George the Hamster. Uh, let's begin. Say something funny. OMG, I think that guy shit his pants, dude. As you can see, well, well they, they aren't saints. He's gonna put that on YouTube. Are you? Yes. No, don't! And if you listen closely, you can hear a moaning in the background. Hold on. It must have been dubbed over before being posted to this site. And these girls look more like they should be 14 and 16 in my opinion. For one frame, the video cuts to a red screen, then back to a long-haired man destroying an old TV by throwing huge chunks of rock. This TV may be the same one used to watch the cartoon in the beginning of the video, 
but there was no way we can confirm that. The TV also appears to be sitting on the same bench the two girls were sitting on just a minute ago. The picture and audio is much clearer now than it was previously with the girl, where it was darker and the audio was fuzzy. It then cuts to another shot of the TV, totally destroyed, lying face down to the ground this time. But you can see what must be blood on the bottom left. Too Dark to Work is a 35 second video. The video is too dark to see anything, except the last few seconds of the video where the camera points to an open door where you could see the light from another room. And if you listen closely, you can hear a faint high pitched screaming which must be coming from another room of the building. However, if you enhance the video just a bit, you can see what seems to be a silhouette of legs dangling from the ceiling, and more legs on the ground as the camera moves. Scott Riggins uploaded Too Dark to Work, and the comment from the username MadmenX from XSpace claims that he has actually been on the website before it was taken down, and downloaded several videos onto his CD. He notes that he hasn't seen any of the violent ones, but most of the videos he say were either random stuff like this, or the website's host, the guy in the pig mask, talking to the camera, which leads us to the next video, and perhaps the most interesting one. Update 5 slash 9 slash 10 starts off with the text saying, Meat's life has recently been under the threat of the law. Thank God the cops don't know about the websites and they don't know he normally wears a mask. They deleted all the previous videos with him and his voice has been dubbed over. As you can see, Meat is the man in the pig mask, which was one of the characters the author of the story kept mentioning about. Before we start analyzing the video, let's clear up any misconceptions. This Meat isn't the same Meat as Meat Sleep or Soonkin. This Meat is completely different, but many people including me first thought this was Meat Sleep. Hello, this is your old pal Meat. I've had to go into hiding. I'm just letting the heat die down. I don't understand why I was arrested. I haven't killed anyone innocent. Pimps. Thugs. Dealers. Junkies. Rapists. Even little horse. The cops should be thanking me for all the hard work me and my family do. Apparently, Meat got arrested by the cops. But to him was for no reason. He claims that he is doing the world a favor, and the cops should be thanking him. He then cuts to a man picking a knife off a knife set, and cuts back to me. In fact, our society is full of scum and injustice. For example, in 2008, a man named Daniel Snay was convicted multiple times for sexual abuse. Now what happened to this man? Oh, he won $10 million from a lottery ticket. Meat says in 2008 a man by the name of Daniel Snay, a convicted sex offender, wins $10 million from a lottery ticket, which was a real scenario with many reports done. He uses this event to support his point that the world is full of scum and injustice, which also redirects back to the story, saying that what they want is to wipe the scum off the earth and have fun doing it. The video then cuts to a man grabbing the pig mask from a microwave, and then cuts back. This is the perfect example of what is wrong with the world. He doesn't deserve that money. He deserves to die in a fire. I'm not sure who this psycho is, but it can't be meat because he had to go into hiding. This might be either the bunny ear man or the guy in the hoodie. It cuts back to meat, which you can see isn't the psycho man we just talked about because of the longer hair he has. So judging from this video, 
You could probably tell that the purpose of what Four Meals of the Day is all about, wiping the quote-unquote scum off society and the earth. Some people speculate that this was the same room from the Amy age 20 was in. Judging from these four videos, you can definitely tell the site used to exist. But did the gruesome videos from the story also used to exist? Back to the Mad Men X from X Space account. He claimed that his brother downloaded several videos to his CD and uploaded them in torrents and internet archive. I privately messaged him and commented on his latest video if he could possibly send me the links to these pages containing the videos. A couple days later he responded saying, yeah, I get that question way too often. I hate to break it to you, but a while back my brother told me that he doesn't have the videos anymore. The only ones left are the few he uploaded to the internet archive a number of years ago. However, there is a YouTube channel simply titled Meat, has been traced back to four meals of the day. He then provides a link that redirects you to none other than the Meat Sleep channel. Now we all thought that Meat Sleep had nothing to do with this, so we asked for proof. He said, I don't know anything about proof. All I know is that everyone thinks they're connected due to the similar quality of videos and the strange references to pigs and slaughterhouses. So in conclusion, Meat Sleep has nothing to do with formulas of the day.net. And honestly, I think it would be better if they didn't have any relation. Well, quite frankly, we both think this story is completely fake, and there is a few evidence to support that fact. The first one, you cannot find any record of the site ever being registered as an actual working domain. Let's take a look at archive.org. As you can see, the site has been inactive for many many years. Also, the story claims that most of the videos were shot during 2006, but in certain videos like Cole, you could tell that it was shot in at least 2011 due to the camera quality. Two other things don't match with the description. You cannot find any torrents anywhere leading to the four meals of the day videos. No matter how hard you look, and yes, even on the deep web, the only existent ones are the ones you can find right here on YouTube, and even then, they are not the same videos described in the story. And two, there is no trace of the thread for disturbing videos or movies on the IMDB forums ever made. Those forums are only used to discuss specific movies or TV shows, so that's another fact against the credibility. The only supporting fact for this supposed website in the video is update 5 slash 9 slash 10 and too dark to work because they look pretty legitimate, but again, they could be very well be a hoax. Hey there guys, thank you all very much for watching the video. I know it took a while to be fully completed due to the length and the editing needed, but I think it turned out pretty good and I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Also, you can click right here in order to visit George the Hamster's channel. He has some pretty good content over there and I'd recommend taking a look if you wanna. Please. Don't forget to leave your suggestions down below or on my email at cinemasilentzero on what you would like to see on future videos. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.